Good morning, friends. <clears throat> Actually, good afternoon. It's 12 o'clock. Uh, we got a late start on school today. Alice requested mac and cheese, so it's definitely lunchtime. Um, Jackson had a pumpkin muffin that we made the other day. We've been keeping them in the fridge, so they're still fresh. And we are just working on some history. <laughs> We were supposed to have American Heritage Girls tonight, but right now all of our snow is kind of melting and then it's supposed to, once the sun goes down this afternoon, everything's going to freeze into ice again. So we canceled partially because of that and partially because a few of the leaders are either sick, are dealing with family emergency, or won't be able to make it with the weather conditions this afternoon. Um, also, hold on one more. Also, tomorrow we are going to the aquarium. Yes! tomorrow morning so that'll be our school day but then tomorrow night I think I said starting around 10 p.m. we're supposed to be getting snow again up to like I think it said three to six inches overnight Wednesday so uh, we're gonna get dumped on again Blah. so we're talking about Leif Erikson we read a little bit about him yesterday uh, what was your favorite part about Leif Erikson Alice I like that he believed in the Holy Trinity okay and what did you write, Jackson? I like that he believed in God and did not doubt him. Very good. Jackson's unloading the dishwasher while Alice finishes up a worksheet. And then we are going to continue. And I am making some orange and ginger tea because um, I want it. <laughs> Kids are doing their silent reading. Will just got home from work. It is 2 o'clock. I've got beef stew in the crock pot this morning. Or the, I put it in this morning. Um, I prepped it last night. I'll leave a recipe link down below. Did I use a recipe? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I had to think for a second. Uh, I'm going to load the dishwasher. And then tonight we were supposed to have American Heritage Girls, but it got canceled because a few of our leaders are unable to make it. Did I say that already? I may have. We don't have AHG tonight. Um, I will be running a few errands after I'm at the pharmacy. I'm going to do the car wash before we get hit with more yucky snow and stuff again. We have a membership, so I go whenever. Um, and I have to pick up a book from the library. Since they were closed yesterday when I did it, I dropped books off, but I wasn't able to pick up books yesterday because they were closed for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, so that's that. That stew smells really good right now. All right, we took her curls out. They'll fall a bit. With her hair being short, um, it takes a little bit for them to fall. But curly, curly. Yeah. Whoa. Running errands. Going through the car wash. This is really busy at the car wash today. I'm assuming because of all the yucky weather we've been having and stuff. There also is a line at the pharmacy. Went to the pharmacy, got my meds. Um, I paid like $27 with insurance. These meds would have cost this much without insurance, which is just insane to me. Four of them are for like migraine meds, nausea, stuff like associated with headaches. Um, but it's just, it's crazy how expensive things are without insurance. That doesn't even include my Enbrel, which I get mail ordered every three months. Those are the injections. I was recording. <laughs> he thought I was talking to him. He's fine. Um, and those are like $5,000 a month without insurance, and I pay nothing. So not only is the AHG meeting canceled tonight, we also found out that the company that we use to get candy bars, it's a local company, local chocolate place, um, we typically sell their candy bars as our main fundraiser for the year to raise funds for our troop. And because of supply chain issues, they do not have candy bars for fundraising. I don't know if it's like a lack of ingredients or like the wrappers that go on it or what the, what it is, but she said they don't have them and we they don't know when they'll be able to do it. So there goes our main fundraiser for the year, which as the treasurer of the troop gives me a little anxiety because um, it's money related. So just kind of uh, wondering what we're gonna do about that. We need to find a new fundraiser. We have we are allowed to do three fundraisers a year. That's just our main one. So I guess we'll see what we're doing there. Um, it is 5:37. The stew. Some of the veggies are still not quite soft enough, so I'm still letting it crock pot a bit more. Um, I'm making a cup of tea. I just got really nauseous a little bit ago. I don't know if it was like 
meds or what. Um, so I'm gonna make some tea and sit down. Will is playing video games over there. Alice is playing Roblox over there with one of her friends that she went to school with when they were in public school. And Jackson is upstairs playing something with friends that he knows from public school. So they still have friendships with the kids that they met when they were still in school. Uh, our school day went well. We are really loving the change over to Masterbooks. Um, for those of you following our homeschool story, we switched to Masterbooks in December for language arts, science, and history. And we do family style learning for all three subjects. So both kids are learning out of the same book. We opted, I opted for the level four language arts, which means that Alice is kind of bumped up a little bit to Jackson's level for language, but it's been fine. Um, and then science and history we've always done together. We switched from the good and the beautiful, although that curriculum is good, um, it was just taking too long and we were, it was a fight for all of us. And we are just loving the new format with master books. So that's a blessing. Uh, yeah. Jackson went out and shoveled while I was running errands. I'm sorry if the video games are loud. Jackson went out and shoveled the driveway while I was running errands. That way it didn't freeze tonight because we're supposed to get another three to six inches tomorrow night. So he went out and shoveled. That way it's clear and not having snow dump on layers of ice. So that was nice of him. He's also doing his laundry. We have our kids on a laundry routine. Every Tuesday is Jackson's laundry day. He does it start to finish, wash, dry, fold, and put away. Um, and then Wednesdays is Alice's laundry day. So it's nice to have that chore kind of taken off of my to-dos. They've been doing that now for quite a few months and it works out really well. Uh, what else? That's it for right now. Will's very frustrated as video games, I believe. It's a lot of tension in this house right now. Beef stew is finally kind of bubbling, so hopefully those veggies will soften. And I actually have bay leaves in there, which I've never cooked with bay leaves before, so I feel very adult. Um, I told Will if he goes to scoop it out and he sees a leaf, it's supposed to be there. I was just gonna say something, I forgot what it was. We're eating dinner. Oh, uh, we just submitted a booking for April for the homeschool convention up in Cincinnati. Uh, my friend Lauren and I are going to take the kids up for that weekend. And so we're gonna stay in Airbnb because it's cheaper than the hotels. And because we'll have a vehicle, we can just drive to the Duke Energy Center, which is where the convention's being held. So if you're a homeschooler, have you ever been to, I think it's called like the Great Homeschool Convention or something like that. It's like one of the big, big ones. But it comes to Cincinnati every year. So we're gonna do that in April. And just made our booking for that. So that's exciting. I've never been since we started homeschooling after COVID hit. And it was postponed, or that canceled the first year we homeschooled and then like last year it was canceled and then it was postponed until the fall and then we didn't go in the fall so anyway this will be our first time and we're gonna take the kids with us um so that should be fun and interesting um i'm gonna go eat dinner all right it's 9 30 will is in bed the kids are winding down for the night we have to get in bed at a more normal hour because we have to be up earlier than we usually do tomorrow um Lauren and the kids are meeting us here and we're all carpooling to the aquarium in the morning and meeting up with a bunch of other homeschool families there. So we have to, we're planning on getting on the road by like nine just because of morning traffic and then finding parking and walking and stuff like that. So, <sighs> so I'll get up in the morning and shower and get the kids up and ready. And then, oh, we got some good news back about the chocolate fundraiser fiasco. Um, our troop coordinator spoke with the lady in charge of all of that at the chocolate place and she said they should have um, candy bars available in Feb like in February so it just it'll just be a few weeks later than what we anticipated being able to sell them so we probably won't be able to sell them for Valentine's Day which was kind of the hope but at least we'll be able to get them eventually fingers crossed by the sounds of it it's just gonna be a little bit later than we thought but that eases some of that anxiety. I'm actually going to go clean up the kitchen, put dinner away, probably watch an episode of Castle or if there's anything new on Hulu, any of my shows on Hulu, I'll watch something on there and then probably do my 
I do sometimes I'll do my Bible I have a Bible app and I'll do some of the devotion plans on there at bedtime to help wind myself down and that's the rest of my evening so uh, thank you for coming along on another day with us drop a comment share some love and until tomorrow we'll see you later bye